Circling an open field near the University of Washington campus, this ungainly contraption, the heart of what the Applied Physics Laboratory at the UW hopes will become APL's first unmanned aerial system. This is the, the beginnings of a research project uh, to have uh, an air vehicle for use in marine environments. Uh, but I think the, the rattle is this. Andy Stewart's development team sees a day not too far down the road when a vehicle like this one will provide eyes in the sky for science. In his study of the physics of ocean waves, APL UW oceanographer Jim Thompson routinely puts high-definition video cameras on the sea surface. Now he looks forward to a new aerial perspective. Unmanned aerial vehicles have the potential to really transform the way we look at waves. We might be able to automate UAV to stay right over a buoy so that you're, you're getting a full picture of what's happening all at once. You're measuring in the water at the same time that you're looking down from above and have literally a bird's eye view of, of what's going on. Extremely capable systems come in all shapes and sizes and feature rapidly expanding digital brain power. They have to be able to coordinate their actions to not only throw the ball up in the air, but then move to intercept it. But today I'm out in a wetlands area. We're going to be taking some video. And Many some systems are affordable and accessible to hobbyists. We have power coming up. Now the biggest thing is when you take off, give it a little burst so you clear the ground. APL UW engineer Chuck McGuire normally works on a major project to wire the ocean floor for power and the internet. He's also APL's test pilot conducting basic flight training and developing operational protocols for the APL unmanned system. There is a learning curve, and it's steep. The work we're doing now with the, the flying is to get the, the control system stable enough that you can give the command inputs using some kind of algorithm. The unmanned aerial system learning curve includes the occasional hard landing. All part of the process. In these tests, we're looking at uh, how to get this system to be stable, uh, you know, how to get the, the right uh, features to help us avoid uh, you know, power failures and uh, looking at what kind of duration we can fly. What we'd like to do is develop a platform that can be used more widely than people who are just interested in the technology. It virtually gives you anything you can do as long as you can imagine it. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.